people, you can't even sleep at night, right? You, you, your body is exhausted, but your mind is still racing, it's still going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We won't talk about the other distraction and go along with that. You should start popping some pills or doing something. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Because yeah. people need sleep. Yeah. Our bodies were designed to sleep. It's a terrible thing when you lay down and go to sleep and wake up just as tired as when you lay down. Yeah. Those are distractions. They don't want you to even focus that maybe there's someplace better for me. Mm -hmm. That I really can move if I want to. Oh, glory to God. Yeah. That I really can be promoted. I really can. They don't want you to think that. They want you to stay right where you are. Remember, demons, they're not like fallen angels. Demons are earthbound. They can't go no higher. That's why the best time for them to mess with you is in your sleep. Yes. Because why? You're at your lowest point now. You are laid down. They can reach you. That's why we teach spiritual warfare. That's why we teach you how to say in Jesus' name if you can't say nothing else. So when those devils have the, the, the cowardly devils try to attack you in your sleep, where you are feeling like you're paralyzed, you can't move, right, you can't yeah. speak, you can't do nothing, but you can't say, Jesus, yes, 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 yes. come up out of it. Yes. Glory to God. <laughs> they can't get no higher. So they want to keep you at a low place. Glory to God. How many are getting what I'm saying today? Amen. Romans 3 and 3, I'll give you a foundational scripture. Romans 3 and 3 says, For what if some do not believe? What if some people did not? Some people don't believe. Okay? And can I help you? The way God puts faith in everybody, it's a measure. Your measure is different from somebody else's measure. So don't even expect people to believe the way you believe. That's right. Don't even expect them to believe as much as you believe. Because mm -hmm. what you're believing for to them might be huge. Like, I don't see how that's going to... Well, you ain't going to never see what God is doing in me. Amen. See, and, and guess what? It don't matter if you don't see. That's right. As long as I see. That's right. Exactly. Oh, God. So, so well, what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Their unbelief is not going to affect what God has already done in you. you listen, you arrived equipped. You have it. He set up fivefold because somebody's got to pull it out of you. And a five-fold ministry is ever active and alive and well. Mm -hmm. yes. Because it's going to pull out some of the most awesome gifts of ministry in this generation has ever seen. Some people are going to rise up in things that they never even knew was in them. Mm -hmm. You're going to start speaking and doing the will of God like you've never done. You are going to bring heaven into earth as the word of God said in earth. As it is in heaven. That's who you are. But it's the distraction that's got you thinking, oh, you're not important. Remember our prophet, we talked about him last week. Remember we told you part of his problem was his stepfather had told him he was no, nobody in, in special. That he had nothing important to say. So even when he went into such conflict with the people, remember he couldn't see what he was doing. Well, remember he was raised up thinking what he says is not important. It was a part of why he really didn't get it when the people said, look, your prophecies are accurate. But your mannerism is rude and mean. And he couldn't see it. But then if you're raised up saying nothing you say is important, don't nobody want to.